All right, everybody, let's get back to Renera. It's wig making time. And I finally got the supplies in that I need to make this wig, and this isn't it. So we're gonna go over the supplies that I have purchased and that I am using to create Renera's wig from scratch. Let's get into it. Okay, first off, we have bundles of synthetic hair for Renera. This is actually hair from Wiggis Fashion, and it's the exact color they have for Renera's hair now in the store. Um, so basically it's the same color as my Daenerys wig. It's just straight because Renera's hair is straight with a little bit of wave, but mostly straight. I also didn't realize that I got really, really long. Like I just miscalculated the hair on this. <laughs> and so it's like Lady Godiva level long. Oops, but we're gonna be cutting off a lot of it. And I also got two more bundles. So we, we have a lot of hair. Um, this wig is gonna be insane. I'm very excited about it. So the next thing we have is um, lace for the front. Um, I'm kind of going back and forth on these two on which ones I want to use. So this is going to be like this, this area of the wig where the lace is the thinnest and that's where the small amount of hair is tied into the holes. So I have this one that I think kind of matches my skin tone. Actually, that looks pretty good under the light. So I might use that versus one that's a little more warm. Um, so we have that. We have something for the base of the wig. For those of you who are familiar and not familiar with wig making, there are two sets of netting that you use for making a wig. Um, one is the lace for the lace front, and the other is the what we used to call it veg net, but it is just a wider netting, and it's a little stronger, so you can put more hair into the hole when you are um, tying the hair in. So that's that. I have my trusty hooks. Do -do -do -do. They are little ventilating hooks with barbed um, ends on them. I believe this is the German style. Oh, don't quote me on that. We have my trusty canvas head that will be padded out to my head size once I make my head tracing, which is the first thing that we're going to do. And what the next video is going to be about is me saran wrapping my head and tracing my actual hairline. So it looks like it's a second skin type of, thing, like a second head set of hair, you know, it's a custom wig. Maybe the only things that I'm missing right now are fishing line or invisible thread to be able to sew the pieces that I will be cutting together to blocking the uh, wig. So it's uh, it's my own slash uh, custom wig company style of making wigs that I know how to do. So follow me along on this journey. Um, it's going to be a lot and very new to a lot of people, but if you know how to ventilate your own wig, endless possibilities, endless possibilities. So three cheers to moving on Rhaenyra and making her wig next. Follow along.